Here we are in another video from Lara Maker with one of our most requested interviews ever with Joseph Prusa. Hi, Joe. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm a little bit tired the second day, but I'll manage. I'll manage. <laughs> Get to the end of Maker Fest. Yeah. Here we are in New York with some of the new stuff uh, Joseph has been working in. Indeed, one of the most well-known 3D designers, Flowalistic, sent the question like, could you ask Joseph about what's new? So let's talk first about the filament. So we have a few little things okay. uh, <laughs> and, uh, we released in the last few days. So first one is Prusiamen. It's a filament made by me. It's in-house, so we built a factory uh, in, our, in our warehouse or in our offices. We have five extrusion lines because we were very unhappy that some of the filament manufacturers, they don't very strictly adhere to the specs they share. Not, not all of them, but we said we can do it better. So uh, the main, main point of this, uh, it is uh, 20 microns guaranteed. And uh, to make the point that most of the manufacturers don't, don't even have the control, we are sharing all the data about the spool. So, so how does it work? So when you when you get the spool, you have a little QR code here. Uh, maybe you can t scan it through the video, okay. but we can we can show the link uh, in the article. Uh, and you have like birth certificate for this exact spool. You know when it was made. You can see all the measurement data that it is really under 20 microns. You can see which meter what uh, had what diameter. Uh, we are also making uh, an online color monitoring during the process. So basically, uh, we can guarantee that, this, that the color is the same every time oh. and throughout the spool. And we also have pretty cool spools. Let's open it up. Yes. So it's vacuum sealed, so it doesn't yes, kind of... Of course, but so it's, it's made by robots. We have, uh, we have UR tents in our warehouse. So the spooling on that filament is magnificent and you can scan the code even on the spool. So there's no way that you can actually, <coughs> or during the process, we can ship something which is bad because it just doesn't go, uh, it, can, it, can, it cannot continue the process. So you can, uh, you can right now buy it on our website. Uh, we plan to have it on Amazon uh, US, but not, not yet for Euro because we have pretty cheap shipping in Europe. Anyways, if you want to know more details about this one, uh, you can go to prusaprinters.org, that's where we put all our press releases. Uh, you can already order it on our website. So that's what's the first new thing. Maybe you are, <laughs> you have something here that will be new for most people be in the video right now. Let me get a sip of Red Bull. Make a phrase really strenuous indeed. <laughs> so this is the new original Prusa SL1. It is a new resin SLA or MSLA printer. So it is, uh, it is based on LCD display masking and you have uh, UV LED uh, at the bottom. And basically you are hardening liquid resin into a, an object. And it is very good for making uh, small intricate models with geometries you cannot, uh, we, we, we can maybe snap a picture for, for an article later or you can put it into the video. And it's good for jewelers or if you are doing minifigures I, I personally collect hot toys, which are very nice, you know, Marvel yeah. figurines. So now I can print them. So that is pretty cool. Or here is uh, another thing. And here is a minifigure for like, I don't know, Warhammer. Wow. We, we acquired a company earlier this year, which, which is doing uh, SLA and uh, DLP printers for five years. So that was, uh, that was pretty helpful. So we have five years of experience basically with, with, uh, with the resin 3D printing and we employed our, our engine, engine <laughs> what was the right word? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically we know how to make uh, good stuff at scale. So we completely redesigned it, made it nicer and made it one third of the price which it was before. That's beautiful new, new design and we have touch screen, uh, USB. USB printing, you can do, you can do Wi-Fi, you can connect it to the internet, everything, and 
Uh, we have some nice features like auto calibration because we put the new Trinamic drivers into it as we use with the Mark III. We have a resin level, uh, resin level sensor so you know how much resin you have left if it's uh, enough if it's enough for the full print or it, it, it can help you out. Uh, one of the most important things is that uh, so this is the resin tank. We are using FEP film which which if you are uh, very nice to the printer, it can last uh, over a year. So that is, that, is, that is pretty nice, but you can always replace the film pretty cheaply so you don't have to throw the resin, resin wet away. Uh, like in, with, with the form lapse, you have to throw it away after two liters of resin. Here, you can last a year if you are nice to it, if, and if you break it, you can replace it pretty cheaply. So what is very important is that the resin bed is tilting uh, when, when you finish the layer. So that makes it very, very nice uh, for peeling the cured layer from the FEP film. And gives us very nice, very, very nice uh, surface finish. We are also using ball, ball screw for Z-axis. And we have, oh man, there's so many features. There are so many things. So, so, yeah, so, so we, have, we also have fume uh, extraction system, so it should reduce the odor uh, the, the resin printers are known for. So that makes it much nicer if you have it at home or at the office at home. I, I'm pretty sure that I forgot about something, but but everything is also on Prusa printers and it's also on our website prusa3d.com and I think it should be already translated into, into all of the languages we support, so you can see all the features in the and when is this printer going to be available? So, uh, right now we are doing pre-orders. I think it's $12.99 for a kit and $15.99 for a fully assembled one. Fully assembled ones start shipping in December. We are quite sure that we, we can make it because, well, uh, it's five, five years of experience. The, the kits should start shipping in January. Okay, so... Last question, is yes. this open? <laughs> yes, of course. Well, the, the company wasn't open source before, but uh, after acquiring uh, all the new designs are going to be open source. And we are putting the SLA printing capability or MSLA printing capability into our slicer, Crucia Edition, so that will also greatly benefit the, the community of, of the resin printers. Just to finish this up, you're going to be in Rome too, aren't you? Yes. Of course, how could I miss Rome? <laughs> okay, so if you're watching this video from Spain and maybe you're thinking about seeing this before ordering or checking this out or meeting Joe that's going to be there, we will be there like in two, three weeks. Uh, I don't know the, I don't <laughs> know the date, but pretty, pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so okay. see Thank you, you. and bye-bye.